All right, good afternoon, everybody. Welcome back on Monday. We're doing math. It's uh, section 7.6, page 328. Uh, the first example we're going to do is writing an equation for the line with slope 2 that contains the point 3, 1. So all of this section is me dealing with finding equations of the line. There are three types of equations. Uh, I'll just say them now. We're going to go over them in more depth. Does anybody remember the most important type of equation? Yes. Standard form of an equation is one of the types, and it is important. What's the one we use the most, Jesse? Slope intercept. Slope intercept. Y equals mx plus b. That's one of the main ones we use, and you'll see why in just a moment. First of all, whenever you're given any kind of problem at all, in, in life or in math or whenever, you always take what's given to you, and then you use it in, any, in a way that you possibly can. So what information have they given you? Number one, what information have they given you? Yes, Jessica. Mx. They've given you M. Or not, it's not called MX, it's just M. The symbol for slope is M. So please, Glenna, write M equals 2. M equals 2. That's information they've given you. What else have they given you? Deontay. Y. The X and the Y. The, the, the point, 3, 1. So you can put here point 3, 1. Just put 3, 1 again in brackets. This is the information. So out of all these words, you extract the information that's relevant for the problem. And here it is. Three, uh, M equals 2, slope is 2, and the point is 3, 1. Now, um, remember, in, a, in, a port, in a, every point has a coordinate, and the coordinate in this case is x, y. Okay? Every point has a coordinate, and the coordinates are x and y. So why don't we put a little x and a y here, kind of, um, x and y, because that's going to help you in figuring this out as well. Now we're dealing with an equation of the line. So which form of the equation of the line are we going to use? We talked about y-intercept form. We talked about standard form. We didn't talk about point slope form, but we will. Right now, I can tell you, it's going to be either y-intercept y or standard form. Which one do you think it will be? Y-intercept. Y-intercept. Let's write the y-intercept form of the equation down. y equals mx plus b. So this is a bit of information. A lot of times in word problems, you get information that isn't actually written in the problem, but you need to know it or you need to understand that you can use it. It's kind of in your tool bag of tricks. In this, this whole chapter, in this particular this section, your tool bag of tricks has to do with the three types of equations of the line, all right? The three types of equations of the line, and they are, again, standard form, the y equals mx plus b form, and the slope intercept form, and then also the point slope form. Anyway, how do you combine this information and this information to make this happen? Plug it in, exactly. So we plug in the m, two for the m, and the 3 in for the x and the 1 for the y. Go ahead and do that, Glenna. And everybody should be doing that as well. You should not be doing what you're doing. Okay? No, you should be following what we're doing. Same thing again. Um, go ahead. Plug it in. Good stuff. Now we keep solving that, right? 1 equals 6 plus b. We subtract 6 on both sides, right? And you get b equal negative 5. Well, does everybody remember what b equals? What, what does this b stand for? Y. B does not stand for y. Not exactly. Y the y intercept. That's what, I meant. That's what you meant, but you got to say what you mean, yeah. right? But good job. You're on the way. You're on your way. Um, that was clarified last time. I remember when our last uh, math cast, you were asking, well, why is b? What is b? What is it? Random number? Random symbol? Why you do we have to use b? It. You, you kind of do. I, I don't have an explanation for why we use the, the letter B, but it just is that. It's the y-intercept. So now we've got the slope, we've got a point, we've got the y-intercept. How do we graph this? Does it even why. ask us to graph this? Write an equation for the line. It doesn't ask us to graph it, so we don't have to. We need to write an equation for the line with slope 2 that contains that point. How do we write an equation for the line? Here's our answer. We can write it up here, Glenna. Let's switch. Here we go. Woohoo! All right. Back to this problem. We need to answer this question. The question is what? What is the question, Dina? What are they asking you? Not, not to graph it, but what? It says to write an equation. It says to write an equation. Well, again, we're back to the three types of equations. Standard form, y-intercept form, or point-slope form. Which one will we use? We're not going to use standard. We're actually going to use... Again, we're going to use the slope-intercept form. That's why we say this form of the equation is, is the most well-used form of the equation that we use. Okay? So y equals mx plus b. Put that up here, Glenna. You actually write it again. This shouldn't be confusing. We used it 
to find out B, type? and now we're going to use it. This is slope intercept. Why is it called slope intercept? Because why? Kiara. You have the slope and the y intercept. You have the slope and you have the y intercept. Real simple. You have M and B. It's really straightforward. Y equals MX plus B. Now what do we do to finish this off? This is a very tricky point. What do we do now? What information do we use to finish this point? Now look very carefully at the information. Why did we bother to go ahead and get B? So that if, way we can plug it in. Exactly. We obviously we went ahead and got B. Okay, we're a little out of the picture here. Yeah, why did we go and get B if we're not going to use it? Obviously we're going to use it. So B equals negative 5. What else are we going to use? Um, the 2, the M. So now go ahead and put y equals 2x minus 5. So all we're doing here, folks, Wait. is substituting. Go ahead, Glenna. Put y, yeah, again, y equals, I don't understand y equals, why. we're substituting m, for, we're putting 2 in for m, so put 2x, y y 2x, y just a second, y y plus, y now, plus b, now put the negative 5 in, y equals 2x minus 5. Y equals 2x oh, minus 5. Go I ahead, it. put it in there. We're doing a two-step substitution here, just so you know. Most of the time, you'd actually do it all in one step. And there it is, right there. It, that's the equation of the line. Depends on what they ask for. Sometimes they'll say, write it in standard form, in which case you would subtract 2x on both sides. So put right here, Glenna, put slope-intercept form right there. Slope-intercept form. And put a box around it. So in this question, they did not ask you, they didn't specify what kind of equation. They just said, write an equation. So in that case, you just have to write anything that has an equal sign, and that is correct. You're fine. Put a book, uh, that's it. That's your answer. Put that in a big box with this under it as well. Slope intercept form. Put it in even a bigger box. Yeah, that's right. Even a bigger box. Why would it be a box? Yeah. Okay, you don't have to do that. Anyway, are we clear on this, guys? Are we all clear? Any questions on this at all? Any comments, suggestions? No, we're good. Uh, we're good. Yep. Yeah. Does it have anything to do with math? Yeah. Okay, I always have to what ask. What is exactly it. a standard form? <laughs> okay, what is standard form? I'll tell you what it is. Standard form, put AX plus BY equals C. Not that that's going to help you understand it. We, uh, you know, People ask, well, what's standard form? And then we put this up there. And, and equals C. Equals C. Standard form, here, the thing is, now we've put two more variables on you. Don't worry, they're not... They're, not, um, they're nothing but uh, numbers in disguise. A and B are as if it were 3 and 5, let's say, or, or 1 and 10. So basically, standard form is this form here where you've got x plus y equals something. You're solving for a number on that's standard form and slope intercept, you're solving for y. That's great. Yeah, that's a great way of thinking of it. Good job, Jesse. In this case, it equals a number. In this one, it equals y. That's one way to remember this. The other way to remember it is that this is always something mx plus b. You've always got your slope and your y-intercept on one side of the equation. That's why it's called slope-intercept form. In this one, standard form, you've got your x and your y on one side and a number on the other, and that's called standard form. These are the two ones that you use the most. I would say you definitely use that the most, but a lot of questions will ask you to leave it in standard form. So you got to be careful for that. In this case, this answer could be either one of these. It doesn't matter which, which form of the equation you leave it in because they didn't ask for it. All it said was write an equation for the line. And that's all they're asking for. Yeah? Steve, could anyone take that uh, standard form and put it into a slope-intercept form? That's our next step. Plus two That's minus. our next trick. Yeah, cool. well, I think they can all do that. I think you guys should be very yeah. quick and be, yeah. that should be very quick and easy for you to do. Yeah. Does everybody understand what Dr. Isaac said? Yeah. 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 Not really. Plus, plus two well, x on both sides. Add two x on both sides. Exactly. Yes. Okay. Um, I might sound stupid for asking this, but where does ax plus by equals c come from? That's the reason I said that this is probably going that's to make it more that's confusing. That's the formula. It's it's the formula. It's a, 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 b, and c represent numbers. A represents a number, okay. any number, and B represents X any number. Variable. In this case, this is negative two. In that case, that's one, and C is negative five, and oh, and that's okay, the whole trick it. with algebra. Okay. It's those letters are representing numbers, and and that's all it is. And those numbers are called coefficients. Coefficients. That's right. Yeah. And who, who believes we can make it fun? Can we do it? We can do it. Yes. Yes. Believe. Believe. We've got a believer. We've got a believer. I believe I believe I believe Jesus. Amen. I believe I believe I believe Jesus. I believe I believe 
can't believe you are here. Oh, 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 thanks, oh, This has been a Banana Apple production. Do your homework, kids.